Well, a very happy good evening to you, all who are listening and joining in this evening. Um, I am filling in as a guest. I hope that's okay and you don't miss Steve too much. <laughs> but thank you for letting me read tonight's story to you. Now, I wonder if you see our special friends who are joining tonight. Um, this is Nemo, who is has been found, really exciting, and this is our little friend Octopus, and of course Little Almond, thanks for being with us each evening. Now, why fish? Hmm, tonight's story has might have something to do with some fish, and it is called Filled Full. There were once 5,000 tired and hungry and probably grumpy people sitting on a hillside wanting their dinner. I wonder if you've ever been tired and hungry. I know you do, Almond. You get tired and hungry often. <laughs> They'd come to hear Jesus that day. They came before breakfast, stayed all morning, all afternoon, and way past dinner. No one had meant to be there all day and that long, but that's how it was when you were listening to Jesus. And as if time didn't exist, people could listen to Jesus for hours on end. And on this particular day, that's just what they did. But they hadn't brought enough food. And they couldn't just go and buy themselves a burger and fries to go because, of course, they were, they were in the middle of nowhere with no shops or restaurants. Besides, that kind of food wasn't really invented then. What would they do? Jesus' friends had no idea. Let's send everyone home for dinner. Hmm. About that. They don't need to go, Jesus said. You can give them something to eat. Did Jesus want them to travel all the way into town and buy everyone food? Jesus' friends panicked. But we don't have enough money, they said. What food do you have, Jesus asked. Go and see. Now there was a little boy in the crowd who had brought a lunch that his mother had made for him that morning. He looked at his five loaves of and two fish. It wasn't much, not nearly enough for 5,000, but it was all he had. I have some, he said. Jesus' friends laughed when they saw his little lunch. That's not nearly enough, they said. But they were wrong. Jesus knew it didn't matter how much the little boy had. God would make it enough, more than enough. Jesus said, bring what you have to me. So the little boy gave Jesus his lunch. Jesus winked at the little boy and whispered in his ear, watch. How in the world will Jesus feed everyone with just that, Jesus' friends said, because they thought it was impossible. But Jesus knew the one who made all the fish in all the oceans. Jesus knew the one who in the very beginning had made everything out of nothing. How hard would something like this be for someone like that? Jesus took the little boy's lunch and looked up to heaven and thanked his father. Then Jesus gave the little lunch back to his friends. As Jesus' friends started to hand out the food, do you know what? It was the strangest thing. No matter how much they broke off, there was always more, and more, and more, enough for 5,000. Everyone ate as much as they wanted, seconds, thirds, and fourths, until they were full, and still there were leftovers. Well, Jesus did many miracles like this, things people thought couldn't happen, that weren't natural, but it was the most natural thing in all the world. It's what God had been doing from the beginning, of course, taking the nothing and making it everything, taking the emptiness and filling it up, taking the darkness and making it light. The end. Well, thank you for letting me join you this evening. I hope you have sweet dreams tonight. And from Octopus and Nemo and Almond and myself, it's a very good night.